Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Trey with Reboot IT. Um, here today we're looking at a HP DV7 that a customer tried to repeat our reflow process and using a pin torch ended up blowing up his board and it's now at the point where it turns on for a couple seconds, the fan spins up and then shuts down. Not really too much left to do at that point except for replace the board or replace the chip. So today we're probably going to be doing is replacing the chip on this one. Hopefully that will bring it back to life and get everything working. As you can see here, the customer brought it into us without any hard drives, without the covers, without the wireless, or with the wireless card, but it was in a bag with all the screws for the system. Um, did bring it in halfway assembled. I think there's only two or three screws holding the whole computer together right now. Not a whole lot going on. So we're just going to start doing the tear down and disassembly. Right now. It's a real common model to fail the DV7s. It's a lot like the uh, DV9000 video we did. A uh, different style board in it, but still you have that uh, heat issue that leads to video failure. And if you can see here, there's a slight little bit of damage to the chip, so we are going to have to replace this chip. Or I'm going to probably end up just pulling that off, cleaning it up, putting a new chip down on there. We always like to take out the CPU because they don't always stand up to the high temperatures of the reflow stations. It's always a little bit of bad news for a customer when their CPU fails. Other than the chip, the board looks to be in good condition. Just got to replace the chip. Yeah, the chip needs to be swapped. Did you show the chip there? Yeah, I showed it. Well, a little bit of damage right there. Ah, so. Okay. Time to pull it. Sounds good. Here we just added some flux to put under the chip. Uh, we're actually doing that so that way the solder gets soft as we heat it up and then we can pull the chip off without doing any damage to the board. It's just going to be a couple minutes now before the liquid flux boils off and all I'm left with is just the solid substance. Alright, here we've got our chip ready to be pulled. We just have our heat gun warmed up and ready to go. The board's all heated up. The liquid flux is steamed off. I just gotta get it hot. Now, as you can see, Lots of little solder balls. Tons of them. That's a good pull. Yeah. Let me zoom into the board. Yeah, it's a beautiful shot. Alright, here we're going to clean up this area. 
area where the chip goes. So we can prep the board for a new one. Just add a little flux. We have to keep our boards clean. And you gotta be very delicate with the iron. You don't wanna crank up the power too much on the iron because you will pull up the pads. He's got a very fine tip on there because the DV, uh, DV7 pins on that GPU is very, very fine. Is it a 4.5 on that or a 0.5? 0.4. 0.4. Teeny. using some MEK to clean up the board, all the contacts, and get the flux off. Got to be, again, very gentle with this because you can easily rip off the pad and that board's unusable. Alright, now here you can see we put flux all around the area that we're going to be putting the chip down. All we do is we put a little dab on, then take a Q-tip, or with a, after cleaning your finger, rub it on. Get a nice thin layer and then all you have to do is line the chip up that we're going to reflow down onto it and then we are good to go you got to be very careful with the alignment because if it's a roll off you're going to have to pull the chip and reball it all over again not fun right now he's just positioning the board to give the uh the bottom of it good support so when it heats up you don't have a, a board that gets warped on you and the dark, dark IR station is nice because it brings it up to the flow point very gently. Um, it's not brute force, so you don't end up cooking the chips on them, and it's very, very precise. It's an expensive machine, but it's worth it. That's the thermal sensor you just put on the top there. That's going to read the temperature of the chip as well as there's a thermal sensor on the bottom um, that'll actually read the underneath. The little tin to reflect the heat for the other components so we don't have any other damage on the board. And now set it and forget it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell on the, the video, but you can actually start to see the solder get a little uh, shimmery. Silver. Yeah. Some of my redneck friends used to say, that's shiny. <laughs> Just a little taparoo. Nothing major. Just to make sure everything settles down. Alright. Trey just put in the board, hooked up the screen to test out the the motherboard with the new chip on it. New GPU, yay! Brand new from China. Just like everything else nowadays. But fixed in America. Yep. Yay! Checks on air, yay! She good. Press F5 to load BIOS defaults. Good job, Yay. Trey. Successful chips off on a DV7. There you go. So if you guys have any problems with your DV7, DV5, DV4 with video problems, um, give us a buzz over at Reboot or check out our website, rebootit.biz. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. Take care, guys.